Sakao isn't just a new map, it's a whole collection of new features and mechanics with brand new ways to do things. And here I'll give you some useful tips and tricks you probably don't know yet, so you can cut through more snow than a Demi Lovato birthday party. If you liked the video, please leave a like or a subscribe, it really genuinely helps me out, you have no idea. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Plot twist, they're not infected, they're actually mentally disabled and we've been killing them by the thousands. Yeah, hashtag Daisy Law. In no particular order, you can wash your hands in the snow. If you've got bloody hands from gutting animals and there's no water sources around and you don't have gloves, snow will do the trick. Just crouch near a snow patch and clean up to avoid getting sick from eating with dirty hands. Mushrooms do spawn in Sakal. They actually spawn on the coast. Or at least in Sakal, that's the easiest place to find them. They're a great early game food source when you're low on supplies or just traveling along. Most food will defy frost on your person you don't need to start a fire every time you find a piece of food to defrost it however there is a bit of a caveat some food does take quite a while however zucchinis tomatoes things like that very quick to defrost just keep them on your person hot springs will warm you up but stay by them and not in them if you find hot springs it's a great way to raise your temperature just make sure to stand nearby as i said if you stand in you risk injury and your energy will go down when you find a spring you can actually drink from in inside it which gives you some cover from behind this is extremely useful because now you can't turn your head all the way around to scout the area so it's an extremely useful trick also it does seem to treat it like it's inside so there's also that added benefit crisps or chips depending on whether you're an innie or an outie can't freeze which is a really useful survival hack because as soon as you find them they're good to go just keep in mind when you consume chili food you probably will get chili as well so it's best to keep them on you if you can but if you're desperate it, just use them right away you can use filters to purify snow and it's a great way to do it as well because you just never run out of water to find them they are incredibly difficult to find however one of the best places to find them is the suitcase nato equipment can be found in washed up containers keep an eye on the islands out to sea because although there's not a lot on there one of the things they do have is nato equipment like weapons and gear which can be a serious upgrade for your survival loadout especially if you're a fan of things like the m4 so you're always gonna have to face wolves but one of the best ways to deal with them is to not shoot them in the head now i know this information sounds wrong if you want to kill one quickly shoot them in the head but if you want their headdress shoot them in the body this gives you the best chance of getting a high insulation headpiece and you just look super cool wearing one using a bottle trap in sakal is different because when you use a bottle trap here which you can create by combining a bottle and a knife it will let you catch shrimp which can be cooked and eaten for a decent amount of nourishment digging up worms has a bit of a knack using items like shovels will give you way more worms than using a knife and this can save you a hell of a lot of time but it does come at the expense of wearing down your useful tool but one of the best tips i can give you is to learn how to have a perfect start on sakal and to do that all you have to do is click here and take a few minutes out of your time to put yourself ahead of the curve or for something else click here and as always until next time.